it's Kay. Welcome again to our channel, Crafting Cousins. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, as always, we thank you so much. Trish has been out. As you know, if you've been following us for any length of time, that we are cousins. And I've been very concerned for her because she had open heart surgery. She is still in the hospital. She's still in CCU, but she's doing as well as can be expected at this point in her recovery. So we do covet your prayers and we thank you for those that have been praying for her. And the best thing you can do for her is watch the video so she can get paid while she's gone. We love you guys. Stick around for three fall crafts. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use these little overalls that I got from Goodwill. These are a size two. I don't think I would go any bigger with these. A small piece of burlap and a piece of fabric, a stick that I got from my yard, some twine, some leftover leaves, berries, and pine cones that I had from last year, a wooden word from the Dollar Tree, one of these furniture repair markers from Dollar Tree, some white chalk paint, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. This is such a simple project, but it turns out so adorable, and it's a great way to recycle your kids' clothes or clothing that you find at the thrift store. I'm gonna take one of these wooden words that come six to a pack from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to stain it for my base coat. Now you can use any stain that you prefer, but I like these furniture repair markers because they dry really fast and they don't have a smell. Once I got it stained, I took some white chalk paint and a chippy brush, and I'm just going to give this a very heavy distressed painting, and then I'll set it aside and let it completely dry. Once my word is dry, I'm going to glue it right into the center of that top pocket. I thought this was so adorable, and this hot glue held it perfectly. Now, I also want to decorate the leg of the pants. I thought it would be really cute to give it that kind of scarecrow look. So I took a piece of burlap and I cut a small piece of that. And then I took a piece of checked fabric and I tore off a piece and cut a little square that was just a little bit smaller than my burlap square. Now, I did pull some strings on the side. I wanted this to have a rustic look. I'm going to attach both pieces of this using some hot glue, and then we can just start decorating. I'm literally using pieces of florals that I had left over from last year. You could take them out of old arrangements, whatever you have left over, you don't have to use what I use because all of these pieces just make this so adorable. I stuck some leaves in the top. I put one of my little pine cones and one of these cotton bowls that I had. I did put a little bit of hot glue on these just to kind of hold them in that pocket so they didn't fall out. And I thought it needed a little pop of color so I used one of these orange and yellow sunflowers or daisies whatever it is that you get from the Dollar Tree and I thought that was so cute. I stuck these little berries in the other pocket and then all that's left to do is add a hanger. I took a old stick that I got from the yard and I used a little bit of hot glue on the straps just to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take a piece of twine. I put a little bit of hot glue, wrap it around one end several times. Then I just kind of pull it up, figure how far I want it to hang down. And then I cut off some extra to twist on the other side. And I do the same process. I use some hot glue, wrap it around, secure it, and this project is complete. We want to invite you to come with us on a crafty cruise getaway with four other YouTube channels. 
You can enjoy beaches and sand and all of the onboard ship amenities and spend time with six different YouTube crafters in classes curated just for you. It is going to be a blast, but space is very limited and it is going quickly. Make sure you go to the website www.craftycruisegetaway.com for all of the information. There will also be a link in the description box below. Can't wait to meet you there. Hey y'all, this is Kay. Here's my inspiration board for today's project. I'm going to be using one of these 14 inch wood rounds that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come in a package of three and they often put them on sale. I'm going to be using some of these sunflowers from the Dollar Tree. This ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby with sunflowers on it. I just love it and it was kind of the inspiration for this piece. This almost wooden piece that I got from the Dollar Tree that says welcome. This green wired ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Some Waverly chalk paint in the colors moss and plaster. My favorite acrylic paint for fall in King's Gold. I'm also going to be using some antiquing wax by Waverly and several glues. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of deconstruct this word welcome. I'm going to remove all of those difficult staples with my wire cutters and we'll take off that hanging twine as well. First, I measured my word welcome, and I determined that four inches was the perfect middle part for my piece, and I just used my ruler and drew a line, and then I'm coming in with the moss chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the word welcome. The most difficult part, of course, was getting into all those little nooks and crannies, but it was totally worth it. Then I'm going to use my Waverly Antiquing Wax, and I'm going to stain the top part of our piece. I'm just using a baby wipe to do this. Then I come in and use some tape and tape off the middle part and I'm using of course the plaster chalk paint and we'll give that probably two good coats and let it dry. Make sure you paint the edges while you're there. Then I use some painter's tape and I'm going to paint across the edge with my plaster paint first so that I don't have any paint bleed under when I start to do my third color. And I'm going to be using this matte finish acrylic paint in the color King's Gold and we'll give that two coats as well. Now it's time to make a bow for the piece and I'm going to be using just two ribbons. First, I'm going to come in with the green and I'm going to do two loops on each side, about four and a half inches with six inch tails. Then I come in with my wired sunflower ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make my loops just a little bit smaller. I'm going to do two loops on each side and then of course we'll cut those tails a little shorter than the green. I'll use a zip tie in the middle, remove that from the Easy Bow Maker, pull everything tight and of course I can never resist starting to fluff that bow and we'll cut off that excess of that zip tie and then every bow needs a lot of fluffing. I'm also going to use some twine right around the middle just to give it a little more zhuzh and a little more farmhouse style. Then I'm coming in with some super glue fix all adhesive. We'll apply a nice even layer on the back of this word welcome. I always use a popsicle stick and spread it out as evenly as possible. And then I'm just going to apply it right to the center of our wood round and then I'll place some heavy books on it and let it dry for at least several hours. Now I'm coming in with my sunflowers and preparing them. You want to push the leaves towards the bloom. And at first I do cut them off longer to make sure I have enough stem when I'm placing them at different levels. But before I do that, I'm going to place a soda can tab on the back so that I can hang my piece later. I'm using a heavy duty stapler to make sure that in the wind, this does not move. And I also use a little hot glue never can be too safe, right? So you can see I'm keeping those stems pretty long and having them poke out just the side of my bow. And again, we're going to use our heavy duty stapler and also hot glue to make sure everything is nice and snug and secure. This is a simple piece, but it's still one of my favorite projects that I have made. I just love sunflowers grown in the summer, but decorated with mostly in the fall.
Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you are new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. Make sure you ring the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new content. We upload new videos each week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, and tips, tricks, and hacks. We just know you'll find something you like with Crafting Cousins. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use this old piece of board that I got from the thrift store. It had some pieces attached to it that I used in another project and I've been wanting to use this old wood for a while. Some wooden apple ornaments from the Dollar Tree, some ribbon of choice, I end up using the burlap ribbon, some twine, some poster letter stickers from the Dollar Tree, some acrylic paint in red, and I do use some green, a sawtooth hanger, a furniture repair marker from the Dollar Tree, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. So the first thing I did was grab four of my apple ornaments and I put a piece of tape on the back and then I fill in that little hole using a little bit of spackling and I set it aside to dry. Once that's dried, I take my furniture repair marker and I color in the stem. You could also just paint these. Then I take my flame red acrylic paint and I paint my apples. Now, I normally prefer chalk paint, but I didn't have any in red and this acrylic worked just fine. Then I grabbed some green chalk paint and painted the sleeves of my apples. Before I put anything on the front of my sign, I did want to add a hanger to the back. I'm just using a sawtooth hanger, and y'all, this wood was so soft that I was able to just push the nails in using the end of my marker. Now I'm going to lay out my apples so I know how much space I have on the end. This is gonna help me decide which ribbon to use. I liked the way the burlap looked the best, but it was a little too wide. So I just trimmed it down and then pulled the edges to fray them out. And I'm gonna attach it to my sign just by using a little bit of my hot glue. We're going to flip it back over and then I took some twine and I attached one end using a little bit of my hot glue. I wrapped it around about eight or nine times and then attached the other end with some hot glue. Now I'm gonna take that twine and I wrap it around my fingers about six or seven times. I'm going to slip that off. I pinch it up in the center. You see it already looks like a bow. Then I wrap another piece of twine around the center about five times and tie it into a double knot. We'll trim that off and then attach our bow using a little bit of our hot glue. I'm going to lay my apples back out. I like having them go in different directions. And then I just attach them using a little bit of hot glue. I think this is so cute. The last thing I want to do is add the word fall. So I'm going to take these poster stickers from the Dollar Tree. I pull off the F-A-L-L -L and attach them. And with that, this project is finished. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all.